not one, not two, but three. Three Street Fighter Two cabs. Is it too many? The Capcom Legacy, Street Fighter II, The Road Warrior. Street Fighter II Champion Edition, Big Blue. Super Street Fighter II Turbo, the Shinku Hadouken version, which can also substitute for Yoga Flame. That's right, three Street Fighter II caps. Where am I going with all of this? If you have the room in your arcade, I want to give you an example why all three of these arcades will work because of the game selection. We'll break down every cabinet with the pros and the cons and get into the gameplay because these three are all about the games. And I think that if you have the resources, you have the room, you should have all three of these Street Fighter II cabs. Starting off with Big Blue. You have your three Street Fighter II games on here. The fighting games. Champion Edition, Street Fighter II. Street Fighter II Hyper Fighting. And Super Street Fighter II Turbo. After those lineups... You have your Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Puzzle, Dark Stalkers, Night Warriors, Vampire Savior. And before I go any further, you have all three of these franchises on Big Blue. So if you like any of these, this is the cabinet that has all three of these options with other Street Fighter 2 cabinets the Capcom Legacy does have the first installment Dark Stalkers. So you have your three sequel games here. Saturday Night Slam Masters. Knights of the Round. Now this one's special. Eco Fighters. Again, I'm going to categorize this as a special game. And Capcom Sports Club along with Muscle Bomber Duo. So out of these 12 games, Muscle Bomber Duo, Eco Fighters, Knights of the Round, Vampire Savior, and Night Warriors. Five games exclusively on this cabinet. Unless you have the Street Fighter 2 Party Cade, which I'm just going to dabble in this just for a second. It does have Eco Fighters. It does have a couple other games that the Capcom Legacy would have. Also Captain Commando. But how comfortable is it playing the, the Party Cade? I really don't want to make this a big subject. I'm talking about the three-quarter scale cabinets here on the variety of different games that are all wrapped up in these three cabinets. Now, why do I say that Knights of the Round is a special game? This is a great beat-em-up. This is in the top two reasons why I purchased this cabinet. I wanted this game. I heard nothing but good things about it. And I do not believe that I ever played this game before purchasing this cabinet. It's an awesome game. Usually someone joins in when I'm online. It doesn't get old. There are certain beat-em-ups that lose their uh, mystique, but this one's fun. Excellent game. Completely worth the purchase of this cabinet. Okay, so I lost some of the music here on some of these intros. But we got Dark Stalkers here on Big Blue. 
And then after Dark Stalkers, we move into the sequel, The Night Warriors. Followed by Night Warriors, we move into the third installment, The Vampire Savior. And we have Eco Fighters. A little bit of how the game looks here. Concluding with Muscle Bomber Duo. This isn't a review of Big Blue or Capcom Legacy or Street Fighter 2 Turbo. It's all about the gameplay. But the other reason why I purchased Big Blue is just the form factor here. This cabinet just stands alone. The size of this, the look. I love the fact that the control panel lights up. It's an awesome look for your arcade. Okay, and I have two cons about Big Blue. And they're minor. But I have to I have to be completely honest and just throw this out there instead of being so like pro arcade one up all the time, which I am. But if I had to pick out two things wrong with Big Blue, the control panel's just a tad uncomfortable. And the joysticks are not the greatest. They're fine for Eco Fighters, Knights of the Round, Puzzle Fighter. But if you're going to get down to online play here you're gonna play street fighter 2 you're gonna go head to head with guys these these sticks aren't the greatest other than that i have absolutely nothing to gripe about on big blue those are the two things that i'm gonna throw out there all right we're moving right along here to the capcom legacy street fighter 2 the road warrior which is also the headline game on this cabinet. And the only variant of this game you're going to find is on this cabinet. We talked about Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. That's on Big Blue. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Now the OG, the original Street Fighter. Commando. Ghosts and Goblins, 1944. We have five games on this cabinet that are only on this cabinet. Street Fighter II Turbo, the Ultimate Championship Edition, and the new Challengers. Dark Stalkers we just talked about on Big Blue. Now Strider and Final Fight we'll come back to in a little bit. But for these games right here, Commando, Ghosts and Goblins, 1944, Street Fighter, the OG, and just to throw this in as a bonus, the Road Warrior. Between the Capcom Legacy and Big Blue, there are 10 titles that stand alone. Continue with some of the intros here on the Capcom Legacy. We have 1944 Loot Master. Little bit of gameplay here. This is a great game. If you've never played this, worth checking out. Ghosts and Goblins. Very tough. 
You can argue the fact of some people would pick the NES version, similar to like Contra. Fun game. It's good to have this, but it's tough. And speaking of tough, Commando. This game is almost impossible. I suppose the more you practice, the better you're going to be on here. And it's all about just timing. I mean, it is a slower game. It's just, it's tough. Now, on the original Street Fighter game, the OG, this is the only cabinet that has this game. And I know it's a little corny at times, but it's rare. Okay, and the downside of Capcom Legacy Street Fighter 2, it's short. I mean, just look at, look at it next to Marvel vs. Capcom 2. The cabinet's short. It's shorter than any of the cabinets they're making now. And the ledge does come out, right? We talked about this. The stool, your eye level, that was my complaint, my comeback for people saying, I can't see the screen. You know, I'm standing over it. You use the stool. A lot of people don't like the swan. And there's that complaint about that, that lip here on the control panel, which there is a mod to fix this. I don't want to make a big deal out of this because of that. But other than that, that's all you can really gripe about on this cabinet. I think the look stands out. It is an awesome looking cabinet, despite it being short. The marquee, we can replace. Look, if this thing's bothering you that much, you can replace it. I've seen, I've seen a lot worse. I haven't decided if I'm going to replace this marquee, but I don't factor that into any of my gripes on on this cabinet. But if I had to pick anything to complain about, that would be it on the Capcom Legacy. So the difference in game selection, numbers-wise, on the St Super Street Fighter II Turbo Cab is there are 14 games on this cabinet. There's 12 on Big Blue. There's 12 on the Capcom Legacy. So the headline game here is the Super Street Fighter II Turbo, which is a repeat if we're going to match it up with previous cabs that we went over tonight. Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. Street Fighter 2 Puzzle Fighters. Now Pro Gear. A shoot 'em up game. Like 1944. Like Eco Fighters. Giga Wing, same type of game, another shoot 'em up. Battle Circuit. A beat em up game. Captain Commando, another beat em up game. And this is, this would be a banger title on this cabinet. Armored Warriors, a beat em up, another banger title. Strider, which is also on the Capcom Legacy. And so is Final Fight. Now, the difference here is you're going to have the online play. Final fight on this cabinet. Is there online play on Strider? There might be, I guess, probably scores because Strider's a one player game. The King of Dragons. Awesome beat em up. This was up there with why I purchased this cabinet. Very comparable to the uh, Knights of the Round. Awesome game. The online play, the variety of characters on here. This is this is what, another beat 'em up game that you do not get sick of. You can just keep playing it. Saturday Night Slam Masters, which is also on Big Blue, and Capcom Sports Club. So Big Blue has Capcom Sports Club along with Street Fighter II Turbo. The Shinku Hadouken has Capcom Sports Club. 
So there are six games on here that are different from the Capcom Legacy and different from Big Blue. So just to go back in order here, Big Blue has five of its own games. Capcom Legacy Street Fighter 2 has five. And Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo has six. So between the three cabinets, 16 individual games here that are not repeats throughout the three cabinets. We have Battle Circuit, which is a beat em up game. I haven't played a lot of this, but it's a nice option to have on here. Just switching it up. Captain Commando, one of the best beat em ups on this game, and one of the best beat em ups for Capcom. Very fun. Had a lot of good time online playing this. Still haven't figured out how to do the fire, though, with Captain Commando. Armored Warriors. And you can argue that it's very similar to Alien vs. Predator. It's a good game. Cane of Dragons is my favorite game on here. Absolutely love this. It's one of my go-tos. I turn this on and hope that someone online jumps in. I usually give it a couple of boards and someone usually joins in. It's, an, it's a good experience. I'll be completely honest. It's going to be hard for me to complain about anything on the Super Street Fighter II Turbo Shinku Hadouken cabinet. This might be my favorite cabinet I have. The game selection, the form factor, the marquee, the world map, everything about this cabinet, I love it. I'll find two reasons here. I'll find two things. I wish the control panel lit up. And you can say that the side isn't like arcade accurate. Other than that, I mean, I, I cannot... I don't have I don't have much negative to say on this game. This cabinet, it's man, this thing's great. This is one of the best. All right, so out of the three cabinets, there are 38 total games. 16 of them are non-repeats. Now, there's two cabinets that have the final fight that has Saturday Night Slam Masters, that has Capcom Sports Club, and Strider. Along with all your different variations of Street Fighter 2. What am I getting at? In your arcade, if you have enough room, I just gave you 16 solid reasons why having all three of these cabinets is worth your while. Now, nearing the end of 2022, you're already seeing the sales go on. Prices are dropping. The Capcom Legacy Street Fighter II on HSN right now is at $299. I'm sure Best Buy would price match that. For $299 to get that cabinet, yeah, the couple of flaws, the fact that it's short, 
the fact that you lose a little bit of that screen for two ninety nine with the gameplay on there, completely worth getting. Big blue behind me. Probably right now at three ninety nine with the stool. These prices are only going to drop more. If you can pick these up, it is so worth getting. The games on here alone is completely worth it. And it, I guess we're calling it the peasant version. If we're at Walmart and you see the Yoga Flame, I think it was a three seventy nine. That price is going to drop. If you saw Yoga Flame without the riser, I know the marquee doesn't light up. But let's say it was one ninety nine. Would you get it with the online play? 14 games there's an argument to have all three of these cabinets i did and i know it sounds a little extreme and people are like wow you have three street fighter two cabinets but they're different that's the whole thing each cabinet is unique in its own way looks wise and they have different games it would be hard for me to sell any of these. I'll tell you right now that Big Blue is completely safe. The look of this, Knights of the Round, I will never get rid of this cabinet. Street Fighter II Turbo, the Shinku Hadouken cabinet, I will never get rid of that. Kane of Dragons is one of my favorite games. It's got Captain Commando. I love the world map. I, I, that cabinet's safe too. The only cabinet that I'd consider would be the Street Fighter II Capcom Legacy, the Road Warrior. But for right now, it's safe. And if I did get rid of a cabinet, it wouldn't be that one. As crazy as this sounds, it wouldn't be any of these Street Fighter II cabinets. And I'm not really a big Street Fighter II guy. It's the other games, the, the B-side, if you want to call it. Those are the reasons why I got these. I'm terrible at the fighting games. I like the beat em ups. Anyone who knows this channel knows that I like the beat em up games. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you see my view on is three Street Fighter II cabinets too many? I don't think so. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.